Hey guys, Q&A number 16 coming at you here. Three quick questions, let's get right into it. So first one is, should I go gluten free? So this is gonna depend on the person. Um, if you find that you feel bloated uh, after you eat wheat products or gluten containing products, like bread, uh, pastas, you know, pastries, things like that, then you might wanna try cutting it out for a little bit. Now, in my opinion, cutting it out doesn't mean um, going off and picking up all these gluten-free products like gluten-free cookies, muffins, etc. cetera. Um, all these, these treat foods basically that just don't contain gluten. So that they are still treat foods. They have basically everything except wheat. So I, I don't mean that necessarily, but just skipping those gluten containing foods and maybe subbing in something like a rice pasta instead of a regular pasta and seeing how you do with that. Maybe trying it for seven days if you you know look feel and perform better then uh, maybe maybe you want to uh, cut down on the gluten or just scale back on it but it's going to be personal preference it also depends whether eating gluten containing products is worth feeling the way that you feel when you eat them so if you don't have a super severe reaction you might just want to keep them in um, but totally up to you second one is are marathons bad no marathons aren't bad um, it's really cool to have a big goal like that if you're doing you know a half a marathon something like a triathlon whatever it may be it's awesome to have that goal to shoot for um, you don't want to go too crazy training wise um, and you know if you're you know, there's a high possibility that you could get injured when you really scale up your training volume so just be smart with that um, also plan for something that comes after the marathon because you don't want to just up your training volume a bunch um, train for this marathon and then as soon as the marathon's over just kind of stop everything all together that's kind of a recipe for you know bouncing back in a negative way with you know body composition and health and things like that so just prepare for whatever competition that you're going to have but then also prepare um, to do something afterwards and set up a plan for after the, the race that you choose. Third one is, I know I should drink more water, but how can I actually do it? So one thing I recommend to my clients is to go pick up a water bottle that you really like looking at, you like drinking out of, um, you know, it's kind of pleasing to your eye. Go pick that thing up and basically just take it with you everywhere. Throw it in your car when you're going out to run errands, um, have it on your desk at work while you're, uh, you know, plugging away at your computer, whatever. Everywhere you go, that water bottle should go and it's kind of like, you know, you see it and then therefore you're gonna drink, drink from it. So if you don't have that water around or you just haven't implemented that habit yet, pick up that water bottle, take it with you everywhere and just you, just by you seeing it and looking at it, you're way more likely to drink uh, more H2O. So if you have any questions for future Q and A's, hit me up and I hope you got something from this video. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.